Arena versus Brawl! For Doomhammer! You asked for it. Beat Shaman, I need a more unfair opener than Frostbolt into Effigy. I'm not willing to play Medivh's Valet as a River Crocolisk on turn 2 against Shaman. I'm just going to take this turn to develop a Mirror Entity. If he doesn't proc it, then next turn I can just like Hero Power Medivh's Valet, I guess. Although if he's not proccing it, there's not going to be a good target for the Valet. That's pretty bad. He gets to kill it basically for free. Well, I can't leave up a Mana Tide, so I have to Frostbolt it, and then I guess it just makes sense to Hero Power alongside that. I guess I could go like Cabal Lackey plus Secret and then still have mana for Arcane Intellect, but it probably just makes more sense to play Azure Drake here. Alright, that's not too bad for me. I can just Frostbolt that guy. Frostbolt, Arcane Intellect, Mirror Entity. Plus Cabal Lackey this turn. Seems like the play. I don't really want to play Effigy with my Cabal Lackey this turn, because he's already got an easy answer in play for the Lackey. So it's probably just going to die if I play it. Do I want to kill a Healing Totem, or do I value 4 face damage? I'll just kill the Healing Totem. I have probably enough value in my hand that I don't necessarily need to just burn him down. Not the most exciting mirror entity, but it does trade pretty nicely into his Jade Golem. That's kind of an annoying taunt totem. I can actually make a really sick play here with Arcane Intellect, Effigy, Ballet, double the ball crystal runner. But that's pretty weak to AoE. Maybe I just counter spell instead of effigy now. Wait, I thought I had one more mana than I actually do, so I can't do that. Never mind. So I would have had to have not played Arcane Intellect there. So it would have been just Effigy. Ballet and then like Hero Power, I guess. Which would have probably been fine, but that would have been kinda of weak to AoE. I could have sent the 2-3 in and then like used Azure Drake to clear up this guy, but I don't really want the Azure Drake to lose too much health if he doesn't need to. Well that's really bad. Actually got a really good 5 drop too. Well, I can remove his board here. I leave these guys pretty low, but I do have a counter spell in play. I could have played Cabal Lackey there, but I already have a counter spell in play, so I can't play the second one. And he's a really bad effigy target. I'd rather just play the effigy on its own with one of these five ones left on the board. Alright, good counter spell. I'm definitely doing this. I guess maybe I could have just played the lackey last turn. Because I had a 5-1 in play. So even if he had an easy answer to the Cabal lackey, he probably wanted to use it on the 5-1 instead of the 2-1 anyway. And I did have a counterspell in play for AoE, and if he had double AoE, 
since the two six drops were in play before the lackey, they would have got effigied anyway. Probably should have just played lackey plus effigy last turn, but it's still good this turn. I basically just missed two damage, I guess. Okay, hopefully there's no second AoE here. Okay, so I do get a six drop out of this, I believe. Because the Crystal Runner was the first minion on the board. So, that's a pretty easy ping, go face, play Mana Worm. If he can answer this board, I'm probably in trouble. If he can't, he's dead. And even if he can answer it, I might be able to just draw into Fireball for lethal at some point this game. Looks like he had answer plus heal. At least he only got seven. Um, Azure Drake into something good here is the dream. Unlucky. This guy goes down to four. I guess that's fine. But I want to just get my six damage in. If I just get my six in, he goes down to seven. Fireball's lethal whenever I draw it. If he had Hex, would he have Hexed that turn instead of playing Forbidden Healing? Or instead of playing Healing Wave? Probably. What to do? What Let's just get this six damage in. The longer this game goes, the more favored he is. He can take a trade with the 3 3 into the 4 3 this way, or I guess even like a value trade into the Mana Worm. But I feel like threatening lethal with a fireball draw is pretty important. Uh, I guess against Evolve, making that attack was really good. I got literally the worst 5 drop. Is there any 5 drop that's even close to as bad as Bomb Squad? I feel like there's not. Even if I got Faceless Manipulator, I could have killed this guy. I guess I play Mana Worm here. Soaks 5 damage probably to protect the 3 1. Well, there's a nice block. That gives me one more draw at Fireball. I also have an Azure Drake in the deck which can draw into Fireball. Okay. On one drops. Maybe even a Kirin Tor. Well, the hand still got better. I didn't have time to play all those secrets anyway. I guess I'll pass here. I was actually considering coining out the Medivh's Valet, but it doesn't seem like it'll do much. I'm going to coin Effigy here, and then next turn I'm going to Medivh's Valet something and hope that I draw another secret for Lackey. It's kind of a sketchy play, but it seems like one of the only plays that could actually lead to a win this game. play Mana Worm over Lackey here. I didn't really want to get the Lackey effigied anyway. And against this board, maybe he just won't kill my one drop. Not 
blade be thirsty. Fly, Polly. I'm pretty happy with this. I probably have to Frost Bolt Hero Power the Frothing Berserker this turn, but that's fine. Fly, Polly. Guess that's okay. If I had a 2 mana play, I could use the first mate to trade into Frothing instead of using a hero power. But I didn't really have anything else to do that turn anyway. I'm actually not in a terrible position right now. Okay, I'm in a terrible position again. Funny how that changes so quickly. Just play an Azure Drake here. Maybe it can trade with the Naga Corsair. Oh, it's still trading. Hopefully I draw a Frost Boulder Fireball here. Ice Block's not bad. Let's just play some Secrets. And I guess I'll go ahead and put a Hero Power on this guy. Okay, he wants to make that trade first because he saw that I was playing an Effigy. Why is he trading so much? Thank god he didn't have a weapon there. Fireball's a decent pickup. Um, I think I'm gonna trade off and play Sorcerer's Apprentice here. I could've hero powered and left the 2-1 up, but he has a hero power that kills the 2-1 anyway. And the Sorcerer's Apprentice plus Hero Power contests the 3-4. Also, the Sorcerer's Apprentice is a threat, so he might feel like he has to trade into it. I don't know why this dude's trading so much. Seems like he's just putting himself in a position to lose. But it is still Pirate Warrior, so one Arcanite Reaper and a little bit more damage, and I'm just dead anyway. I think I'm favored from this point. That Arcanite Reaper is scary, though. Now he goes face. Well, I'm gonna play the Lackey here, because he gets in that hot two damage every turn. And I'm gonna freeze his face, because I don't want to deal with that Arcanite Reaper right now. Thank you for the Frothing Berserker friend. I believe I only have 16 here. I think it makes a lot of sense to just trade like this. I could have also fireballed his Frothing, but I think it's better to hold my fireball for burst. And those trades I just made were pretty good anyway. I have Ice Block in play, so he can't kill me here, and I don't think Pirate Warrior can actually deal with my board. Although he's been playing pretty weird this game, so maybe he's playing an unconventional list. Maybe there's like a Deathwing in his deck or something, but it looks like there's not. I don't know why that guy traded so much. If he just traded less, I probably would have lost. I must protect the one. You asked for it. I'll keep Mana Worm, other than that, I just want secret synergy. I don't even really have any good draws for next turn. Cabal Lackey's probably the best. Sorcerer's Apprentice, I guess, is good. Probably better than Cabal Lackey. 
Effigy is not a good draw. Always fun when the druid has wild growth on turn two. So I can play a secret next turn and then my turn five can be secret plus crystal runner, I guess. That's not really a very good curve, but might be what I'm looking at here. I guess I frostbolt this thing to protect my mana worm. This mana worm can get in a lot of damage. Maybe I should have even fireballed there. Because next turn I could Frostbolt plus Secret. Fireball's obviously a stronger card, but Frostbolt's more flexible. I think I should have Fireballed. I basically paid 4 mana for the Frostbolt anyway, since I didn't do anything along with it. I think I like the Effigy here. Because if I'm playing one of these guys next turn, I want to get it effigied. Next turn, the Ice Block puts my Crystal Runners down to two. I won't quite have the mana to play both of them, which is a bit of a bummer. I think I'm just going to go for Ice Block Crystal Runner here. I had the effigy in play, so even if he can use the spell damage to kill it, it's kind of fine. Don't want to play the Sorcerer's Apprentice because I have the Effigy in play, and I also don't really want to just Fireball Pass. Wow, Violet Teacher, huh? That's kind of interesting. Okay, I actually got a pretty good 6 drop. I was ready for it, man. I was preparing my complaints for when I got a bad one. So I'm probably trading the 7 power guy into the 510. Need to deal 3 damage to it with either Frostbolt or Valet. I probably want to fireball the... I probably want to fireball the Violet Teacher. I guess the Valet just makes more sense than the Frostbolt here. What would be the best spell he could get? Savage Roar? Wipe? One of those. He took the 3-2. This is a pretty easy Flame Waker, right? I want to Frostbolt before drawing with Arcane Intellect because I don't want two missiles to land on the uh, on this guy because then the Frostbolt's a lot worse. Right away. My next turn is actually very strong. I can play all of these plus even a two mana card if I draw it. I guess Medivh's Valet is the nuts next turn. play the Cabal Lackey here. I mean, my board is big enough, right? The only thing I'm even kind of scared of is Swipe. I would guess just any AoE. And the Lackey just dies for free to any of that, so no real reason to play it. So I have Ice Block and Counterspell in play. The Ice Block probably doesn't matter at all this game. I guess it means I won't just randomly die to Malagos, but I doubt his deck plays Malagos. Cool. 